Hello again, YouTube. It's uh, 7 17 p.m., uh, still Thanksgiving night. And yeah, that last video got cut off really quick. And I got nobody to blame but myself for that one. Um, I just, I, I don't shoot video very often on the Obama phone, the first Obama phone, I guess it is now. Uh, it's a UMX, which stands for Ultimate Mobile Experience, which is, which is just hysterical because it's quite possibly the worst mobile experience I've ever had uh, with a smartphone. In fact, I had uh, at least two pre-smartphone messenger smartphones, which I would say uh, massively outperformed this thing. I used to have a, uh, I forget what the hell it was called. It was a little red square Motorola. Love that thing. Actually, I think I had two, two different ones of those. That's something I, I have a tendency to do. If I buy a model phone, and I really like it, and it breaks, or it ties, or gets stolen, or lost, or whatever. Um, I, if I've got the opportunity, a lot of times I will buy that same model again. And, and granted, a lot of people, you know, it's like, oh, it's time to upgrade. Nah, um, I'm I'm a big fan of familiarity, knowing how to use my tools, and with both with that particular phone like as much effort as i had gone into to learning how to use it uh yeah i definitely wanted another one so um uh, i wish i could remember the model number but it was uh it, it looked and yeah, styling very much it looked like a uh looked like a blackberry uh, it definitely was during the blackberry era um it had a full full keyboard kind of square shaped and it was a slider so the keyboard slid out um had what for the time was a decent sized screen uh full color screen um the keyboard was textured and i had these pointy keys which at first seemed odd but then once i got into the habit of typing on it i found i could type on it super quick it was very intuitive uh qwerty keyboard of course and um and while it, it, it wasn't a, a smart phone technically you know i couldn't download apps for it it did come with quite a lot of different applications preloaded on it that made it very useful which included um which included a, an app for youtube which i'm sure wouldn't work today but it worked great back then um it had a web browser it was a painfully weak web browser but it it did it supported some video sites not all but all in all, I mean, it, it did what I needed it to do. I do remember browsing karaoke version on it a lot. And I do believe I was even able to preview karaoke tracks using karaoke version on it. So, you know, love, love that phone. And it uh, also had a, a really decent MP3 player on it. And I kept quite a bit of music loaded on it. In fact, I used to, that's back when I was driving my red CRX, I used to regularly, uh, regularly, uh, Something about the shape of that phone, it would actually pop and lock into my uh, into my um, ashtray in such a way that I could see the screens when you when you slid it closed and covered the keyboard. There was all the the cursor buttons were just under the screen on the on the top half, which is all you needed to operate the MP3 player, unless you were searching for a song. Uh, as far as like. Um, play pause and skip forward track skip back a track um and i think i could also even browse to different folders like i had different folders in it and if like say i was listening to an album i want and i had another album another folder i could i could i could search to the next folder and then hit play so um yeah i i you know i i don't know if i still have that phone anywhere but i tell you if if i do <laughs> when and if i when, when i well i, I don't want to say if, but when i do get around to um repairing my uh 91 honda crx i do hope to uh put that thing back in there just to use as an mp3 player with a car stereo it's uh <coughs> it did that so well and the nice thing was that when a text message came in obviously i'm not going to respond to it while i'm driving but it would it would make a beep make a, a not too obnoxious beep over the music while it, while the music was playing and then it would uh I see it. I could, I could glance down, and the screen was close enough. I could I could see the text message pop up on the screen, so I'd know who was messaging me, and if it was important enough to 
you know, pull over and respond to, or just, you know, back of my head kind of formulate a response, what I was going to respond to that person when I did. But yeah, I loved that. Absolutely loved that phone and uh, owned, owned two of those. Had one stolen and, and just immediately replaced with the same model. And that's one I had before that I really liked that I feel like outperformed this one was a, uh, as an IKEA. It's called a, oh my goodness, I'm trying to, wow, there is hardly anybody parked here at Bullets. Um, I don't remember the model number, but it had a keyboard as well. It had a kind of a, kind of a, it unfolded like a flip phone, but not in the form of a normal flip phone. Um, had a little color. It actually had two screens on it. It had a little color. They're both pretty small screens. It had a little color screen on the outside. So if you used it as a regular phone, you didn't need to actually unfold it. It just made it extra thick, but it worked really good. And then when you unfolded it, it uh, you had a, it had a little screen on the, on the top half that unfolded. And then on the bottom half, you had cursor keys in the middle and a split keyboard, uh, QWERTY keyboard on either side of the cursor keys. And after some practice, I was able to type insanely fast on that thing. Um, yeah, and there was a time I could have told you exactly what the model number, number of that phone was. And I'm sure that's no longer even something I can get service on. I'm sure it was a 3G phone, but uh, man, love that thing. And uh, yeah, I want to say that both of those forums outperform this UMX ultimate mobile experience piece of shit Obama phone. Uh, there is one thing that this phone is phenomenal at, though, that I, I can't I can't take away from it. And the service through Assurance Wireless, as god awful as it is, uh, does really well. And that is uh, it's it's a great internet hotspot. Uh, last month during my my free ninety free um, time period, I used just shy of six, just shy of sixty gigs of data on the thing, which is, which is crazy. I mean, if I was using Verizon or even Cricket to pay for that much data would have been insanely costly. And for that, I'm, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that the other Obama phone that I turned on doesn't result in this getting shut off because I really enjoy it as a, uh, as a hotspot. Um, and on that note, I, uh, I got a theory that it's not going to happen. And the woman I got the, uh, I forget her name. I'm hoping she shows up here tonight or maybe next week. She did say she'd like to come out to Bullocks. I was talking to her about it. Um, but um, she did say, and I've seen her a few times, she's regularly down uh, handing out the Obama phones there at the Circle K at 44th Street in Washington. Um, and she, uh, so it's probably, honestly, it's like the third time, uh, third, maybe fourth time I talked to her when I finally got there and had time for her to run my ID and just like, yep, you're clear, you're good to go, handed me the, the new phone. Um, she said there's a good chance that this one would get its service shut off, but she didn't know how instantaneous that would be. Uh, I've got a theory that it's probably not going to get shut off, and I'll explain that later. Not now, because I'm almost on my 10-minute time period on this phone. Uh, what I was really trying to explain before it ran out of space, and it, that was my bad. I had shot videos on this one, just hadn't taken the time to delete them, and it ran out of space. And of course, it's a you know, free phone, so it doesn't have much space. Anyway, so frustrated with the bus driver, uh, as I was going across the intersection at Bethany Home, I dinged the bell, sailed right by the Bethany bus stop, and then sailed past the next bus stop. At least I think he did the next bus stop. I don't, and I don't, honestly, I don't know how far up the next bus stop is, but he went damn near a half mile all the way to Claremont before he stopped. And I was not the only person that was cussing him out, going, "Hey, man, we, we where, why are you not stopping? We're, you know." And several people pulled the bell, and I almost had a riot in that bus because. <laughs> Kind of some unruly people that ride that route. What can I say? Anyway, yeah, about a half mile walk. Made my walk back to Bullock's over a half mile, but I'm here. I don't think there's too many people here yet, which is what I predicted. I can't believe the patio is completely empty. But anyway, time to go in, get ready to rock. Get myself, uh, get myself my Thanksgiving Thanksgiving pizza and, and some beer. And uh, put myself in a better place, in my, better, better space in mind. Anyway, y'all have a happy Thanksgiving.